And Chief Weathercaster Lonnie Quinn of our New York station WCBS is here with the timeline of the moments leading up to and after totality. Lonnie, good morning. Well, good morning to you as well. All right, let, let's break it down for you because it's all going to begin about 90 minutes prior to the total eclipse. That's when the moon is going to start to cross the face of the sun. This is the partial eclipse and everybody in the country is going to see this in some semblance. Now, as the moon covers 90% of the sky, that sky is going to dim a little bit. Temperatures will drop a little bit as well. But it's two minutes before the total eclipse that 99% of the sun is going to be blocked. So you're going to get the colors of like a really nice looking sunset. And although you only see this little sliver of the sun, you still have got to be wearing your protective lenses because this little sliver is still about 10,000 times brighter than a full moon. Uh, but again, it's looking pretty cool out there. You keep the glasses on. As you make your way closer and closer to, tat to totality, if you're in the path, you are going to see, just before the moon covers the sun, something called Bailey's Beads. And these are the last spots of light just peeking through the moon's craters. The very last spot creates this diamond ring effect. And then it's totality. It will last two minutes, 38 seconds. The stars are going to be visible overhead. You will be able to see the corona of the sun. My goodness, I wish I could see something like this. Here in New York, we get about 71% coverage. Uh, it's going to be totally cool to see, and this is the only time that you can take a look at the sky, at this image, with your naked eye. But if you're not in the path this time, perhaps you're going to be luckier in 2024. That's the country's next total solar eclipse. That one goes from Texas to Maine. So for those of us here in New York City, we may have a better shot at it then. Nora, let's go over to you. Well, Lonnie, that is such a good explanation. Thank you so much. You bet. I love the excitement of everybody who wants to go. I, was at, <laughs> I do, Lonnie. I was at the Martha's Vineyard Airport yesterday. I met people who come from London who were heading from Martha's Vineyard to St. Joe, Missouri, because they wanted to see it. They feel it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing yeah. for them. A lot of people. This is, this is good stuff. They describe it as a spiritual experience yes, in yes. many ways. Yeah. Well, I'll be on West 57th Street. So let's, see, <laughs> let's see what happens there. All right. That's right. <laughs> Anthony Mason, however, will anchor a two-hour CBS News special report on the eclipse. So if you're not outside, you can watch beginning at 1 Eastern, noon Central, right here on CBS.